they're meant to be competitive. If your practices are more competitive than the games themselves, you're doing the wrong thing. Trivial things weren't going to pull my attention. They weren't going to pull my attention. It had to be things that were, I had a purpose. I wanted to be one of the best basketball players to ever play. And anything else that was outside of that lane, I didn't have time for. I made that deal with myself at 13 years old. The love of the game, the challenge. Like, I, I would watch Magic play, I'd watch Michael play, and I would see them do these unbelievable things. And I'd say, you know, can I get to that level? I don't know, but let's find out. My philosophy was a very simple one. And this is where I think film plays a big part of my life. You know, Rudy was one of my favorite films growing up. After watching that film, I come to understand if I could work that hard every day, being blessed with the physical tools that I have, what would my career be? And I made a promise to myself from that day that I was gonna work that hard every single day so that when I do retire, I have no regrets. And that was the most important thing for me, is to leave no stone unturned, get better every single day. And if I lived that way, then over time, you know, I'd have something that was beautiful. But that was my philosophy. It seems like a pretty simple one, but, you know, if you live your life to just get better every single day and do that for 20 years, I mean, what do you have? It started in middle school and high school because a lot of the kids that I was playing against were inner city kids. And so they're looking at me as if, okay, this kid's soft. Right, he's from the suburbs of Philadelphia. His father played in the NBA, born on second, but you know, all this other stuff, right? And so they felt like they could try to be physical or try to intimidate me and do all this other stuff, which they couldn't. But now I'm saying, okay, well, you're trying to attack me. How am I going to attack you? How can I mentally figure out ways to break, break you down? How can I show you that, no, I have the edge? And so that's when it first started for me, is figuring out how to get the upper hand on an opponent that way. When I played, one of the things that I had to learn is how to get the best out of my teammates. And most people think it's a simple thing, you know, pass them the ball. But that's not how you make guys better. You have to really affect their behavior. So, you know, like I would tell guys, you got to back to backs. I don't care if we're in Miami, I don't care if we're in a great city of Chicago. You can't go out, we got to get rest. So, a few times I said, all right, well, I'll go out. But the next morning, I'm banging on your door at five in the morning. Let's go. And you're at the gym, we're working out, right? We hit the bus, we go to practice, we play that night. And they're dead, and they're like, lesson learned. Listen, if you're gonna do that, but don't let that compromise what we're here to do. This is why we're here. This is why you're here in the first place. Kobe can do that and still has the energy to get up and do this, so either I gotta meet that same energy or I gotta keep my butt. I'm neither, meaning that you know I play to figure things out. I play to learn something, right? Because I think if you play with with a fear of failure or you play with the will to win or that supersedes the fear of failure, I think it's a weakness either way. Because if you play with the fear of failing, you'll have the pressure on yourself to play. If you play with the sense of, I wanna win, I wanna win, then you have the fear of what happens if you don't. But if you find common ground in the middle, in the center, then it doesn't matter. You're gonna phase by either, right? And that enables you to really just stay in the moment, stay connected to it, and not feel anything other than what's in front of you. So you know, I try to just be dead center. At the time, I didn't really understand that. So, you know, basketball for me was the most important thing. So everything I saw, whether it was TV shows, whether it was books I read, people I talked to, everything was done to try to learn how to become a better basketball player, everything. And so when you have that point of view, then literally the world becomes your library to help you to become better at your craft.